Welcome back, everybody. Back in the kitchen with Angie Horkin. We have one more really tasty appetizer, perfect for the holidays. Beef pot stickers, and pot stickers are so on trend right now. I love they them. Are. They're delicious. Kids like them, adults love them. Who doesn't like them? And when you make them at home, they're so fresh. Mm -hmm. They're really, really good. They are good. I could eat like a whole pan. I totally <laughs> agree. So actually, make a bunch. They could be a, a nice light dinner with a salad. So we started out sauteing some mushrooms some garlic, and we sauteed them in a little bit of sesame oil, mm -hmm. which is the key ingredient. If you don't have some of this, pick yourself up some. That bottle will last you like a year or longer. Um, great in stir fries. It's delicious. So just want to get those mushrooms nice and soft. Yes. Which we're about there. And then um, we've got some really lean ground beef. Lean correct? ground beef, yes. Okay. We're starting with ground round. Okay. So in, in this recipe, it's definitely worth splurging on the leaner ground beef because we're not, it's going to be raw. Our filling is going to be raw when we stuff our wonton okay. wrappers okay. and make our pot stickers. So you don't have that option of draining out some of the fat so this after is, you yeah. cook it. Okay. So Good this deal. is a real nice lean one pound of ground round. Okay. We put in the mushrooms, the garlic that was sautéed in the peanut oil, and then we're going to add the sesame oil. We're going to add soy sauce, about a quarter of a cup, quarter cup of green onions. I made pot stickers for a book club meeting one time, and the ladies went crazy over it. And the nice part is, is I, you know, I had them done all ahead of time and just warmed yeah. them up. And then fresh ginger. Okay. A tablespoon wow. of chopped That's ginger and then so a little good. bit of black pepper. Okay. That's that the filling is it. easy enough. Now, so now then for the, you picked up some wonton, wonton wrappers. wrappers. Okay. They are refrigerated. And they're right in the produce section yes. by the bok choy mm -hmm. and the ginger and everything. There's 60 in this package. This one pound of ground beef mixture will make 40. Okay, so that's so going to be a lot. A few. Um, so keep our wipe out our skillet with okay. this wet paper towel, okay. and then spray it liberally with Pam spray because these actually fry. Okay. They take about six minutes to get done, which doesn't seem like a long time, but you're going to fry them for four and then steam them for two. Okay. So just wipe out that same skillet wipe that you did with the that mushrooms. Wipe out that same with. skillet. Okay. And then spray it nice and liberally so we don't stick. And you take one tablespoon of filling per wonton wrapper. Is there any special way to wrap them up? Well, I just do triangles. So I wet two sides, pull it over, pinch it at that corner, and then bring Keep it, it back. Keep it nice and easy. Nice I'm, and I'm easy. with you. So just get these in into the skillet. Put those into the skillet in the spray. Okay. Nice hot skillet at home, and then time two minutes. Now my skillet here will hold ten. So you kind of have to do this in batches. So you have to do it in batches. So you can have your oven on warm. Once you get a batch done, put them in the oven to keep them from people eating them right away. But as far as the assembly them. of these, I mean, Thanksgiving, this is the last thing you want to be doing probably is in the kitchen assembling these. So right. you could get these all you know, wrapped up and done yes. at least. Put them on a parchment yeah. lined tray, cover it with uh, just a saran wrap or even some real lightly wet paper towel just keep to keep them the, moist. Keep that, uh, the, the wrapper from drying Make out. Make them up, yep, two minutes now, and then you'll flip them after two minutes. And then we'll add a little water so you want a little color yeah, on these guys. Exactly. You're starting to get the little, little color. And then, so then at this point, we're going to steam. Steam them. So half a cup, put that in, and they'll create steam, and then put the lid on. Oh, these smell good. And that way, the beef just kind of finishes cooking. It does. So six yum. minutes of batch. Then the recipe online has a quartet of dipping sauces, so four different ideas for homemade dipping sauces. So this is you don't a, have to do them all. You don't have to do, all, um, you don't do you, any of them. There's yeah. great sauces in the supermarket, but sure. this, these are nice and fresh too, and fairly simple. Five to six ingredients. This is a spicy, sweet and sour, mm. and this one you do in a pan. So okay. you use sugar and water, cook it up a couple minutes, thicken it a little bit with cornstarch, and it's ready. This is a nice citrus. So uh, start with fresh orange juice, soy sauce. Uh, green onion, some sesame seeds, Yum. maple wasabi. This is your favorite. You this said. is my favorite. Yeah. Well, it's sweet. Yeah. I love uh -huh. maple syrup. So mm -hmm. you start with maple syrup, add some soy, some wasabi paste, but not a lot. You can taste it a little bit. It's got a little bit of heat, but I'm not. I yeah. don't like real. So strong, that one, and so. I love peanut sauce. And so. this, yeah, this is a peanut Thai. So you start with coconut milk, 
peanut butter, creamy peanut butter, and then it's got some uh, crushed red pepper in there, Ooh. and then some sriracha. Yum. So it's up to you if you want to make the sauces. For sure, I'm making these um, pot stickers. And you can get the recipe for both the pot stipper, stickers and that wonderful uh, cheesy queso dip that we made earlier on our website. And lots of great recipes yes. online, right? Yes, and we have a whole appetizers page. So this Thanksgiving holiday, if you want other appetizer recipes, I, I bet we have 20 to 30 Yum. using beef. All right. Thanks, Ange. Happy Thanksgiving. You too. We'll be back. Stay with us.